to grandparenting A to Z. We are talking about the ABCs of grandparenting, and this week we are on the letter N for nourish. Now, typically that's a word we associate with food and feeding the young ones, but this week I want us to think about nourishing their minds, their spirits, and their souls. The definition of nourish is this, to supply food or other substances necessary for life, health, and growth. That growth part is really important, especially when we're thinking about the spiritual or the heart, mind, soul part of our young grandchildren. So there are two points I want you to consider as you think about nourishing your young grandchildren. First, take time to really understand your family's goals with regard to sharing family, family values, teaching spiritual values and principles. These are the things that if we aren't conscious about um, what we're teaching our young ones, we'll miss, we'll miss part of the legacy that, we, that really is important to us usually. How about teaching life skills? Are we consciously nourishing our young children with teaching them life skills, like picking up after themselves, making their beds, learning how to work, painting walls, gardening, all of those skills that will um, add to their growth and their en enjoyment of life as they grow up. What about educational goals? Are we conscious in how we talk with them about that? Health and fitness. What are we teaching them by um, example and by discussion? Preparing children for adulthood. It's so important to help our children grow into maturity and into the ability to make decisions and function for that time when we're not there to help them. Number two, the second point about as you consider how to nourish the hearts, minds, and souls of your grandchildren. We need to consciously plan family activities and discussions. It's so important to talk about some of these things. And sometimes it presents a, you know, an issue might be uncomfortable to talk about, might be awkward, but super important for the nourishment of the heart, mind, and soul of your grandchild. We don't wanna leave these things to chance, chance folks. Um, somebody will teach our grandchildren about these issues. We want it to be the parents and us as grandparents who take the lead and nourish the hearts, minds, and souls of our grandchildren. So thanks for joining us for Grandparenting A to Z. We're always so happy to have you here. We'd love to hear your comments, suggestions. You may have lots of other things to add to the list that I presented today, and we'd love to hear it. Be grand.